So Tim, finding talent these days is becoming very challenging for everyone. We are all struggling to find the same person. So as the president of the HRA Technical Resources, why it's becoming so challenging and what our employers are looking for in a candidate? Well, I mean, there's a couple things, right? I think one is we have more people leaving the workforce than at any other point in the history of the universe, right? Like, I mean, we just have the demographics are playing against us where we have so many people retiring or, you know, leaving. At the same token, we don't have as many coming into the workforce. So automatically in a, in a good economy, not even a great economy, just a, a good economy, you're going to have challenges with not enough people for the jobs we have. And we already know we have that, right? We have more jobs than unemployed people. And then even when you get under 5%, you, I could argue that the majority of those 5% of unemployed actually probably don't want to actually work, right? I mean, they're unemployed because they want to be unemployed. Um, and again, that's a broad stroke. There's some people out there that'd be great hires. So, and it doesn't matter what industry we're in. It doesn't matter if you're high tech, engineering, service, this, you know, um, literally manufacturing, it doesn't matter. Like I, I went and spoke at a Marriott uh, GM conference a few weeks ago, like 8,000 Marriott locations, you know, GMs that were there. Every single one of them could not find hourly workers, right? So it doesn't matter who you're trying to find right now. It's a challenge. And so based on our demographics, based on having more jobs than people, you know, what we run into is this, uh, you know, this really we're basically just robbing from each other, right? And so be, being active recruiters becomes like one of the most important things of like, how are we going to go out there and talk somebody in to coming to work for us versus the job they have now? And again, like financially for decades, we've, all, we've also told like everybody, especially like hiring managers, that it's not about the money, quote unquote, right? Yeah. It's about our leadership and it's about the job and the opportunity. Company, the culture. Yeah, which is all bullshit, by the way, right? It has nothing to do with that. I mean, foundationally, it's all about one. If you think of like Maslow's just hierarchy, right? Find that foundationally, you better be at the at the at least at market for the money. And if you're not at market, it doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter how great of a leader you are, or how many balloons that you put in their office every morning to make them feel good about themselves. All of that is crap. So I think first and foremost, what we try to tell people is that hey, you don't have to lead the market and pay. But if you are trailing the market, you are just going to be scraping the bottom of the barrel for talent. So at least you better get yourself there. And yeah. now all that other stuff matters, right? If I have a better opportunity, better manager, whatever that might be. Yeah. Oh. Thank you yeah. again, Tim, for sharing, especially here in Vancouver. Everyone is struggling to find the same people, especially in the tech industry. Everyone has a struggle finding a developer or, or other people. And they're trying to differentiate, find different menu, venues to find talent. And I would say for the, again, for the audience, if you have any other tips in finding great talent that is working for you, please share it. We'd like to hear from you and tune in tomorrow for another question with Tim.